this is Haley from OneOnRabbits.com and in today's video I'm going to be reacting to your rabbit's habitats. So I posted on Instagram just a little bit less than 24 hours ago for people to send me emails of their rabbit's habitats, whether they are in condos, in pens, free roam, anything as long as it was indoor housing as I only support indoor rabbit care. and. I got a ton of emails, like so many. Let's just go ahead and get started. So the first email I have is by at Aslan underscore the bunny. So I'm assuming that's their Instagram handle. And they said, my bunnies are cage free, but I would love to show you their main area. I have two bunnies, Ellie and Aslan. Their area is my living room connected to the kitchen and their litter box is hidden inside the Ikea hall furniture as well as the hay. They also have the little Ikea bed and a lot of toys to play with. They usually sleep under the sofa so I don't really think they need any hidey house. This is their little area. I think it's super cute. I love the colors. Also both of your bunnies are super adorable and super fluffy and I love it. I also really like the Ikea doll bed. As you guys know I also have an Ikea doll bed for Sterling and Ebony. The one cautionary thing I would say about this setup is that the wood is painted. I know I don't know if she painted it or if you can buy both of these painted white but rabbits should not eat or ingest paint, so if your rabbits are chewers, I definitely would get this stuff in the unfinished versions. Uh, some bunnies honestly don't chew much and it's not a big issue. Personally, I don't know how people have rabbits that are that amazing and don't chew because mine destroy everything. So I love how her colors coordinate, like the gray and the white and the black. I don't know for sure if it's black or if it just showed up black on the camera, but it is so stinking adorable and this is honestly gold. The only other thing I would maybe say is to try out some Heidi houses. I know you say that they use the couch as their Heidi house. So because our rabbits come from the European rabbits, which live in burrows underground is their natural instinct to want to burrow. So because of that they are using your couch as a burrowing system that's probably their main hidey house but because rabbits that's in their nature and they love to burrow I would consider maybe adding a hidey house uh, even if they are using the couch. I think they would really enjoy it um, if you've ever checked out like uh, Binky Bunny has a ton of cool things. They have the Tunnel Haven, the Maze Haven, or the Cottontail Cottage. Any of those things are super adorable, but obviously you can make your own. You can buy stuff. The only thing is, is you want to make sure it has two openings. Because rabbits are prey animals, they most likely won't use a hidey house that has one opening because their instincts tell them if they go inside and a predator was to block off the main exit, there's no way for them to escape. So that's why rabbits most likely don't use hidey houses that only have one entrance. Uh, so that would be my only thing, but honestly, I think your rabbit's area is amazing and I'm really jealous of it and I think it's super adorable. So now on to the next email. It says, this is my setup for one bunny. It is in my room with many chew choices, a hideout, a tunnel, a litter box, choice of water bottle or water bowl. The length is 42 inches long, 42 inches tall, and the width is 28 inches. These are made of CNC grids, it's three levels. The top two levels have cut rugs for the flooring and then the bottom has bedding. And I free roam for one to two hours a day. So the first thing, I think I really like your toys. I like that you have a different variety. You have some chew toys and a little tunnel thing for your bunny. However, I am gonna mention that this cage is way too small for a bunny. So I personally recommend a rabbit not be in an area smaller than four feet by four feet. Some people say that a two foot by four foot cage is okay. In my opinion, I've never seen a rabbit that is happy in a two foot by four foot cage. And this cage in particular is a little bit smaller than that even. So I definitely would say I would upgrade to at least a four by four foot cage. Doesn't have to be in that exact dimensions, but at least the same amount of square footage. So something you could do is keep the current cage you have now and just put it on the ground and just build a little fence around it so that they have a fenced in area they can go out in as well and then they can go up in here to play in. Another thing is that rabbits need to be able to stand on their hind legs inside of their cage and for this to happen, it should be at least two feet tall in some area. And from what I can see, it's only one grid tall. 
on each level so you would need at least a two foot area for them to be able to stand up on. So I think you're off to a good start. Honestly, I would just take off the storage underneath of it and just put the cage directly on the ground and then open it up by adding a pen. And then of course you can fill the pen with other things if needed. And bedding on the bottom of a rabbit's cage is really unnecessary and actually not very cost effective as you would have to use quite a bit of bedding to fill that area. You only need bedding inside of the litter box itself, and having bedding outside of the litter box can actually confuse a rabbit on where to go. Another thing I'm gonna mention is that a water bottle isn't necessary for bunnies. I would just go ahead and take that out. It's honestly just a hassle because you should be cleaning a water bottle at least every 12 hours, and if you're not cleaning it that often, it can grow bacteria, and it's really hard to clean them. So on to the next email. This is my rabbit's living situation. Currently they are located in my bedroom to keep them out of reach of children. They are currently semi-free roam, but they are in their cage from 9 to 5 p.m. when I'm at work. So Sylvia, first of all, I really like your free roaming area. It is super cute. I love all the colors. It looks like a really good space for your buddies to run around and have fun with. However, I will say that the cage you have is way too tiny for a rabbit to be in even if it's only for a few hours a day. A rabbit's minimum size cage needs to be at least, in my opinion, four feet by four feet. I don't think you're from the US, so I looked it up and it's about 1.2 meters by 1.2 meters is what one rabbit should be housed in. And I do see that you have more than one bunny. I definitely would consider a four by four foot pen minimum for two bunnies, but I would definitely go larger if possible. But one thing I am going to mention is if your bunnies are babies, they should not be housed together. Even though they may be getting along right now, once they hit sexual maturity around four to six months of age, they start to become very territorial, very aggressive, and they can fight and possibly either injure or kill each other. I know it seems hard to imagine because they're snuggling right now, they seem like such good friends. It's just never ever safe, no matter what their age, after they leave their mother, they should never be housed together. Doesn't matter if they're both males or if they're both females, they need to be housed separately until they are spayed and neutered because you never know when those hormones are gonna kick in and when they could fight and possibly very badly injure each other or even kill each other. So I would say until that time, definitely keep them separated and definitely upgrade the space they are in even when you're not home you can get something called an X pen that are super fairly reasonably priced and if you just got two of them one for each of them until they are both spayed and neutered but your free time area looks amazing honestly if you do that and put it inside of your rabbits pens that would be perfect and then of course still allow them to have free time when you are home and they are able to supervise them and on to the next email I have one bunny named Lollipop. She is kept in a 10 by 8 foot enclosure in the basement. She has a cat tunnel, a hutch, cat bed, hidey house, litter box, ceramic water bowl, a wooden bridge, an Ikea bed, a cat scratcher, Timothy mats, cardboard and wooden toys. Part of her cage has an outdoor area rug for flooring, but the main part is foam puzzle mats covered by several layers of fleece. She says she's also a YouTuber and has a video of her making this cage. So I will link that video down below because this pen is actually super adorable and I think it's super cute. So this pen is actually super adorable in my opinion and um, it's got this cute little like porch area I don't know if that's what you call it but it's, it's a little X pen with an outdoor rug and on the inside she's got lots of toys little beds I think it's super adorable and super cute the one cautionary thing I would say is uh, I don't know about her bunny particularly but rabbits can and will chew wood so because there is slats of wood, there is a chance the rabbit could start chewing one of those and create a hole for them to go through. So that is just a warning for bunnies who chew. I really like the fleece you have. It's super cute. I love cactuses. It's super adorable. You have like this cute little stool and an Ikea bed. Honestly, it's super cute. The only other thing I would mention is the hutch you have in there definitely isn't safe if your rabbit was to chew it. So again, if your rabbit is a chewer, um, it looks like it is finished with a varnish. So definitely keep an eye out on that. You don't want your bunny chewing um, anything varnished or anything like that. The one other thing I would say maybe you could add to your pen is a nice hidey house. Um, I do notice one that would be okay in the outside area. 
Um, but inside this wooden pen, I don't really see a hidey house that has two exits. So like I mentioned before, rabbits are prey animals, and because of that, they feel less safe in a hidey house that only has one entrance. So that'd be the one tip I would give you. Um, but honestly, your your setup is super adorable and you've done a great job. So this next email, she says she has a Netherland dwarf. The area is located inside of her bedroom and she said the area is about 60 by 180 centimeters so in inches that's about two feet by five feet so first of all i would definitely say i would upgrade the space if you can just because a rabbit is a dwarf doesn't mean they can have a smaller size cage dwarfs actually tend to be more active than other breeds i'd also mention that the pen you have looks quite short i will caution you that rabbits can jump very high so Definitely consider that your rabbit could potentially jump out of this pen and definitely expand the space as like I've mentioned in the past It should be at least four by four feet, which we figured out was about 1.2 Meters by 1.2 meters. I think another thing I would say is to get a better hidey house Like I have mentioned a couple times in this video rabbits need a proper hidey house with at least two entrances. The one you have here is very small and only has one entrance, so your rabbit most likely isn't going to be using this quite often, and if they are, they aren't going to feel very safe in it. I know you mentioned that your rabbit isn't a huge hay eater, and that's why there isn't a lot of hay in there, but honestly, the reason that your rabbit might not be a hay eater is that maybe they don't like the type of hay you are offering. I'm going to link a video down in the description and in the i card above on how to get your rabbit to eat more hay because your rabbit should be eating 80% of their diet in grass hay. I would definitely also get a couple more toys. You can do some DIY toys. And last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and read the last email. Hi Haley, I rescue and foster rabbits in Michigan. I own six rabbits of my own. I have three bonded pairs who live separately but share one bedroom where they each get at least five hours of complete free roam in the entire space. So first of all, thank you so much for being able to rescue and foster bunnies. That is an amazing thing. So first of all, looking at your bunny room, it looks super cute. I love all of the different fleeces on the floor, super colorful. You've got lights hung up, that is super cute. As far as the pens themselves, a lot of them look Fairly decent. Obviously, I would say a four by four foot pen is the minimum for one bunny. So I would like to see two bunnies in something definitely a little bit larger, but I can tell that you are very limited in space in this bunny room. But if there's any way to, you know, kind of maneuver things around and give them maybe a little bit more space, that would maybe be one recommendation I have. Another recommendation is to have a proper hidey house in each of your pens. I know I've been saying this in almost every single one, but it is very, very important. Definitely make sure you each pen has a proper hidey house with at least two entrances. Otherwise, you have a lot of toys in your pen. It looks like your bunnies are super happy and healthy. I love all the colors and I love everything you do. Uh, the only other thing is if your rabbit is a chewer, sometimes rabbits could chew a hole through plastic X pens. I'm assuming you've probably used these for a while and your rabbits are fine, but for the other people watching, just so you know, rabbits, some rabbits will chew through those plastic X pens. So I definitely recommend wire ones, especially if your bunnies are chewers. So I think with just a couple little tweaks, you would be all set to go and your bunnies are super adorable by the way. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I do want to mention a disclaimer that I am not trying to be mean to anyone. I'm not trying to put anyone down by this video. I'm just trying to recommend some updates they could do to, you know, just to spruce up their rabbit space. And I am by no means saying I am perfect. I actually have a lot of things that I would critique about my own pen currently. So that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a little bit of a longer video. Let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this type of video, if you want to see one again in the future. But go ahead and leave down in the comments some of your guys' advice on what we should do to update our habitat. But that's basically it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you very soon on a new one. Bye!